to have the fortitude. They want you to have the fortitude to still believe that it's going to come, but it's not in your time frame. It's not in the other people's time frame. It's divine time. So God will present it to you when you're ready for it, when he feels you're ready for it. So what he wants you to still do, and the angels too, and your spirit guides, is still hope and dream for it. Still manifest. God wants you to manifest. Keep on manifesting and see it coming true, but just never put a time clock on it. Never put a date on it. Okay? So those cards are done. Now I'm going to do, these are angel cards. And in terms of your questions, oh, sorry about that noise. In terms of your questions that you gave me, um, I'll get into, um, I think it was your brother and your father. I uh, already invited them to come up so they can come up when they're ready. And as I'm doing the cards, spirit guides for Christy, please give me any messages in my mind, messages off the cards, messages in my ear, spirit guides of Christy. Thank you. Okay, so something you're thinking about, the angel cards are saying, you're ready. You are ready. You're ready to go. Move forward. You think you're not ready, right? You're like, no, I got to get this perfect. I got to get that perfect. No, Spirit is saying you are ready. So go full speed ahead. You're ready. Okay. The next angel card is no need to worry. No need to worry. Worrying take so much from us and and I'm a worrier as well and I have to get it under control otherwise when I stop manifesting th uh, things don't happen good for me because I'm worrying worrying means you're having fear that divine and that God and all your angels and your spirit guides aren't listening to you and aren't caring for you so you always have to have the faith and the hope that yeah they're gonna they got my back they know exactly what's going on, every hair on your head. They know what's going on in your life right now, two weeks ago, 20 years ago, even if they've passed. They still know. Okay? They don't want you to worry. Okay? And maybe that's why that Archangel Rose came up, because she's of fear, worry, and indecision. Okay? Because... Think about it. When you're worrying and when you have fears and you let them overcome you, what happens is, do you move forward with your dreams and your hopes? No. You freeze. You go, I can't do this. I can't, I can't go in that direction. I can't go in that direction because I'm so worried about this. So I'm so worried about that. No, they got the angels got your back. Okay. Long time ago, and almost like every six months, I would ask, um, angels, am I supposed to monetize? You know, what am I doing here? Four years in, since 2019, everybody else got monetized, has Patreon, whatnot. And they go, nope, nope. And they used to say not yet. But then, I, so I went a, fur, a step further and I said, hey, uh, this was a couple of months ago. Things were very slow. Like things were at a standstill. I wasn't getting, and nobody was buying my art. Nobody was uh, give, getting reading for months, right? Um, this is the first, I think this is one of the first readings I did, um, paid readings that I did in a few months, a lot of months, okay? All that other stuff's for free. Anyway, they said, I said, um, I went a step further. I said, you keep on telling me no, but what about my bills? I got bills, bills, bills. And they said, we got your back. 
do more art. I was like, I got a whole room full of art. I have nowhere to hang it. I got so much art. They said, do more. And we got you back. Stop worrying about that. They were like, we got it. Do it this way. They're guiding me this way. Just keep going this way. Okay? No monetize. Right? And that doesn't mean that's right for everybody else. That just is my message to me. I got two pads on today, guys. This one's coming off from sweat, I think. So I don't know how, how much it's working, but it's okay. I got Jesus juice, too. Anyhow, doesn't matter. Um, so what I'm trying to say is, Know that the angels have your back. Know that God always has your back. Okay, Christy? So you have to ask the questions. You're not always going to hear the answer right away. Like sometimes I wouldn't hear the answer and I would be like, Oh, I, can't, I guess that means um, I'm supposed to monetize. Um, and then the next day or a couple hours later, I would be like, I don't like complicated stuff because I'm a retro girl in a, in a techno world, right? And that would mean I would have to set up this tier and that tier and Patreon and all that. Do I really want that? Uh, that would be no. Negative. That Would that make my life easier or harder? Uh, I don't even know where to begin. So then I got the message. No, just do do it this way. Keep on doing your videos. Keep on doing your art. And don't worry about space. Okay? And I'm going to show you something to make my point. Hopefully I don't knock everything over. All this stuff on the table, that is going bye-bye. Okay? That is got to be wrapped up. Look at the walls. They're getting empty. Don't worry. I have about four canvases that are waiting to be finished so I can hang them up and then eventually sell them. But this is the emptiest my walls have been. So my point being, hold up, hold up, hold up. My point is, <laughs> the angels never lie. Okay? The angels and God always tells the truth, of course. They're always right. Okay? And we just have to follow. And we just have to say, you know what? You got my back? You'll you'll help me with the bills? They were like, yes. Yep. Yep, and I hate the word yep, but th basically that was the feeling I got, okay? And so this times that I don't sell anything for like four or five months, okay? And then all of a sudden I sell stuff for like a month, like in the last two months, it's been very beautiful for me. Um, March and April has been great for me. I thank God, and I thank the angels, and... I realize I'm just listening to what they told me to do. They just said, keep on making it. You happy when you make it? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm always happy. When I'm not making something, that's when I'm whacked out. That's when I'm like nervous or on edge. Um, even if I have to go to work, like, and I still, I always ask them, am I supposed to stay at my job? You know, because there's a lot of school shootings and I have PTSD from way back from 9-11 and then last year with the school shooting that was in Texas and then the school shooting that just happened in Tennessee. I'm like, uh, you know, and they go, nope, just keep on going to school, keep on going to work. I mean, I only work part-time a couple of days. Sometimes like this week, I haven't worked any days yet. And I'm, but I'm going in on Friday, Monday, and Tuesday for somebody who lost their grandparent. Um, maybe tomorrow, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, and so that's good. That's a good schedule for me. So I'm like semi-retired. Um, but what, what I'm trying to say is they want you not to worry. They want you to keep on going and know that you are safe. 
know that you're ready to do something that you've been thinking about doing. Okay, and the next one I have is, this might make some sense to you or it might not. Maybe it'll make some sense to you next week if it doesn't make sense to you now. Um, the answer is a year from now. So something is coming in a year from now. Were you thinking about a move or a vacation um, or a trip? Uh, I feel like that, don't worry about that till a year from now. Well, that's coming in a year from now. Something's coming in a year from now. And then they want you to reconsider on something else. Reconsider. You might have made up, look at his wings. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. They're like grayish blue. And he has the sword. And they want you to reconsider something you're going to do. But re uh, and then you were like, it could be like, I wanted another pet. But then I said, you know what? I have two or I, I have one. So forget about it. They, they want you to reconsider. It might not be about a pet. It might be about a relationship. It might be about a friendship. They're telling you, reconsider it. Okay. And in terms of the career, I feel like I have something like going like this on me and it's my greasy hair. Okay. I thought it was angel wings, but it turns out it was a couple of my greasy hairs. Okay. But they keep on like unraveling themselves and hitting me in the forehead and it's freaking me out. Okay. <laughs> I know. Empath problems. Or psychic problems. All right. Anyhow. Okay. Yeah. So reconsider. All right. Now we're going to the, I'm moving pretty fast, right? I, I did one, two, three. Now we're on the fourth deck. Okay. So the angels want you to know to love and accept yourself and thank your angels for loving. Thank your angels from time to time for lovingly guiding you to self-acceptance. Okay, so. There's an issue, <laughs> and I'm not going to give you a tissue. There's an issue with a lot of people not accepting themselves. And me, I'm one of those people, right? It took me, I'm 59 years old, and I'm just now saying like, yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. I can move around. I could use my legs. Yeah, they're not skinny. Um, they're not size 7, 8, like I always wanted um, to stay, but... That didn't come back, but you know what? I move my legs. I go to work. I move my legs to walk. I move my legs to take care of my animals and my family. I, I move my arms. You know, I have two arms, two legs. I have, I'm pretty fairly healthy and I'm very grateful. I'm very happy and grateful. The angels make that happen. I have all kinds of problems with my thyroid, but the angels make everything go okay. Okay. Um, they want you to thank them. Oh, did my music stop? I'm sorry that I have to keep on doing this, but that means, yeah, that, it's like a time stopper for me, but I need it today. Today I need it. Oh, did I turn it off? Okay. All right. So the angels want you to love and accept yourself and then thank your angels for guiding you to self-acceptance. Wait, you see this beauty? Isn't that beautiful? Thinking of yourself in loving ways, having positive self-talk. I know I struggle with it every single day in my life. I say mean things to myself. Um, I tell myself I'm lazy when I can't get off the couch, or when I'm down, or when I'm feeling depressed, or when I'm feeling just, you know, um, I always say, you know, why aren't you cleaning the bathroom or the living room? <laughs> if you're not at work and you're not painting, why aren't you doing this? You know, so I know all about that uh, negative talk, negative self-talk. You have to turn it around and start thanking the angels for helping you to do positive talk. Name three things that you love about yourself right now. I don't care if it's your eyes, your hair, 
or the way that you get up every morning and make coffee. I don't care if it's a little thing or a big thing. Just think of three things that you like about yourself. And then say to your angels, thank you for helping me and guiding me into positive self-talk and self-acceptance and loving yourself. You can't expect somebody else to love you and treat you respectfully unless you love yourself first. And you, you have to put your foot down when you feel like somebody's not treating you right. You have to put your foot down and say, this doesn't feel right and I don't want to hold this back from you, but I don't like how you're treating me. I don't feel like you're respecting me. I don't feel like you're being a friend or I don't feel like you're treating me with love and kindness. Um, and you have to say it because sometimes you say it to yourself and you're like, I have a bad feeling and you're not letting it out. And then that kind of destroys your mind and your stomach, you know, your, your gut because you're holding it in. So spirit wants you to express it. And even if it's not received well, and even if the, the person or persons, um, you know, don't respect what you say or they kind of throw it back at you and just really don't answer it, that's okay. At least you, you see people for how they are. And if you're not going to deal with them, you're not going to rock with them if they're not going to respect you then you're just not going to rock with them, okay? Even if it's a family member, you have to put your boundaries up, okay? But most times when you express yourself, if the person is really cares about you, they will try to adjust themselves um, for your wishes because they want to keep you in their life. See, this came off. Sorry, I have to smell everything. Okay, because they want to keep you in their life. But if they don't respect it, that means they really don't care about keeping you in their life. So then why would you want to keep them in your life? Okay. Self-love. It has to start with self-love. Okay. Then we have unconditional love. So this is all about love from th this deck. Um, unconditional love. The Divine Mother. Mother Mary says, thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me to give and receive the love I deserve. So it has a lot to do with actually saying, I no, I deserve to be respected. I deserve to be treated with respect. And I deserve to be loved and, and people to appreciate me and to show me that my feelings count. And you're saying this to the Divine Mother. The Divine Mother will help you with this as well. Unconditional love. The Divine Mother helps you to know that you should have a loving mother. You should have a loving friend. You should have loving family members. You should have respectful uh, family and friends. And if they don't do that, you point it out. And say, this really hurt me. This hurt my feelings when you did A, B, or C, okay? And if they don't respect it, then you know you step away. You step back, okay? You try to explain it. And if they don't care to hear it, then that, that person doesn't deserve your friendship or your, for you to keep them, to rock with them, okay? You're not going to rock with them. Right? That's a poor attempt at me trying to be cool. Okay, I know it's pathetic, right? but anyhow, so prayers to the Divine Mother, unconditional love for yourself, knowing that you deserve the love and to be treated with love and respect and friendship. Where are these cards? There they are, okay? This guy always reminds me of Prince. Doesn't he look like Prince? Purple rain, purple rain. Okay, the Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael is the Archangel of addictions. Archangel that helps you in your health. Any kind of medical, 
is Archangel, call on Archangel Raphael. When you're calling on the Archangels, first you have to go through God. You have to ask God, please release the Archangel Michael for protection of my, me and my family, my friends, or whatever situation you're in. Or if you want Archangel Raphael is coming up in your cards, Christy, so that means um, something medical. Okay, so you say, please, dear God, could you release and send down Archangel Raphael to help me with my health problems, or if somebody around you has health problems that you love and care about. Okay, so we have, and I just heard, I just felt like the heart area. Okay, so I don't know if it's like anything with lungs or the breast area, a bronchitis or mammogram, um, like just keep that check, do that check. Um, the divine physician is Archangel Raphael. Thank you, Raphael. This is what you say. Thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. Visualize yourself with a healthy body. If you have any problems in your legs or your chest area, visualize that that all is healed and yourself laughing and smiling and running or walking and just doing all the things that you do when you're healthy. Thank you, Archangel Raphael. I haven't seen that card in a long time. These cards I, I had in my car for lo the longest time, but something told me, bring those babies in. So I did. Okay. The, le the last, um, it's the Kyle Gray ones. They're called Kyle Gray. And it says, take a step back, Christy. Take a step back. And I'm going to take a sip at the same time. Thank your angels for helping me to step back from what's not serving you. Thank you, angels, for helping me to step back from what's not serving you. So there's a situation that's happening around you, Christy. Um, and they want you, the angels want you to step back. They want you to step back so that you're out of it, so that you can see it clearly. Um, whatever situation is not serving you, it's not making you happy, it's not making you um, feel, you know, talented or creative, it's making you feel down, it's making you feel sad, it's making you feel confused and angry. That's not serving you anymore. It's not making you feel respected. Okay, sorry for going in, going in too much on it. That's a beautiful card too. Did these get? I have one more card. I didn't realize. Oh no, I already read that one. These are your angel and ancestor cards, okay? Is a man. He's he's an older man, so I feel like that's your dad, and he's stepping up. Um, you gave me two names. James, are you James? Or are you the brother Teddy? Are you James? Yes. Do you have any messages for your daughter? He's smiling, but he's sort of like looking a little bit shy, like kind of like a wink, but he puts his head to the side. So sometimes that's my indication of like, he didn't get to say everything that he wanted to say to you before he left. And he wants to tell, tell you he loves you very much. He's sorry that he, that you, that he missed you on the earth level. So in other words, how do I explain it? 
He didn't get to be with you on the earth level, but he saw everything that he sees and saw everything that you went through. So he's like, Katrina, I'm still a part of her life. Please tell her that. Yes, you just did. And he's like, I will help you make decisions. If you, if you want my help, I can help you. So in other words, he wants you to write his name down, pray to him. Like even if you call him daddy, write his name down three times. Anybody you're trying to contact in heaven, um, you write their name down and you just like light a candle. I have a purple candle lit right now. And um, just think about them. And, and you say a prayer. And then you just wait. You don't even have to wait and stay in the same place. You know, just know they're going to answer you. You'll see some sort of sign. And I'll do the other cards in a few minutes. Now I think it's your brother stepping up. Is this somebody that used to used to like tease you and say psycho? Who's a psycho? Did you have a like a joke with him? He's also saying sorry. He's saying sorry, like sorry, sis. Why are you saying sorry? Teddy? Are you Teddy? It's like I didn't mean to leave you. I, I wish I could have had more time on earth with you. We'll, we'll wait for you. We're waiting. Me and Daddy are waiting for you up here. So you have a long time. Don't worry. But we'll we'll be here, and we do see. So show me some some kind of decision with your house. He's like, go for it. You should go for it. You're second guessing something about your house. And he's telling you to go for it. Okay. Thank you for those messages. Now, I'm, I'm still open to receive any happy and grateful and open to receive any messages from you guys to Christy and her ancestors. I'm going to just do her angel and ancestor cards. And if you want to jump in, you can jump in. Okay. One second. Okay. I have the trader. Uh, not trader in a bad way. The trader, somebody who trades goods, um, means exchange energy to create abundance. Okay, so like this card comes up when you like have something to sell, even if it's like some kind of talent, and it's saying, you know, like exchange what you do for 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 something else either money for abundance okay so they def angels are saying they want you to use your gifts and talents that you have don't second guess them you have them okay even if you think you're not great at something it's something that you wanted to do and to experience and to utilize it use your intuition more use you have it very very psychic um but use your intuition for moving forward on something that you want to do. And this is coming up saying, be a trader, you know, not the other trader, but a trader, exchange energy to create abundance. So what is it that you would like to trade? What is it that, for some reason, I just heard life coach. I don't, I don't think you're a life coach, but um, I just heard something about a life coach. Uh, and then I see an artistic, something artistic. Okay, then we got the she-wolf. Unleash the wild within. Where do you see this beautiful card? Unleash the wild within. There's definitely, they're trying to tell you there's something that you want to get start to express creatively, and you're a little afraid. 
and you're a little bit like, well, I feel stupid. Uh, I feel like I can't master it. And, you know, Virgos always have to master everything before they get started. No, just, just ask God to help you use your gifts and talents. It's things that you're good at already. Things that you used to do maybe when you were a kid or when you were a teenager or in your 20s. It's, I don't care if it's writing, poetry, art, um, or some sort of business that you want to do. Go for it. Unleash it. You're going to be so happy when you do. Okay. Then we have the traveler. Move in a new direction. I think this is what your brother was saying. Something you've been holding back and you really want to do it, he's telling you to do it. And your father's like, I second that, Katrina. She should go after her dreams more. And if, if it's a trip, if it's a little trip you want to go on, get somebody to watch your dogs and go. And don't worry, I'll, I didn't forget about your dogs. I have a message from that I want to tell you. Then we have the Lord card, uh, take charge with authority. Now, you got that before. Um, you got the King of Pentos. You got the take charge card before in one of the other decks I did. I think I did one, two, three, four. I did four decks so far, uh, but maybe this is the fifth. So take charge. They want you to use your power. Use your power and take charge. Even if you feel funny, you feel like, oh, well, I'm a Virgo. I don't want to be the most in charge, but you, they're telling you they will help you. Angels will help you. Divine wants you to use your abilities now. Take charge and go. And your brother and your father just said, and we're going to help her too. We will help her. We're here. We have you back. Okay, then we got the white witch. The white witch is really beautiful. It's be the light. Be the light. Okay, so that's definitely looking into things that you have wanted to do and shine the light upon it. And you will be the light when you're using your gifts and talents and you, you're taking something that's in your gut, right? And you're like, but Katrina, I've, I've said things before to family or friends and they didn't receive it well. Okay, it caused a fight, it caused, you know, uh, an upset, and they didn't, ac they didn't accept it. Well, you know what? It's the right thing to do if it's in your heart, it's in your mind, it's on your mind, and it's in your gut, right? You know what the right thing to do is. 